Here are the solutions to part 2a. It's important to denote that these are all regular polygons, which means that all of the sides are the same length and all of the angles are the same size. So for this first one, I'm going to use my equation to help me figure out how many degrees total should be in this. Well, I have one, two, three, four, five sides. So n is equal to five, which means instead of n minus two times 180, I'm gonna write five minus two times 180. And that would be three times 180. And this is equal to 540 degrees. So I know that there's a total of 540 degrees inside this pentagon. But now I need to split it up between five equal angles. So I'm going to have to do 540 divided by 5. This comes out to be 108. So each angle is a measure of 108. Let's go to the next one. Here we have um, a regular hexagon. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So n is equal to six. So n minus two times 180. I'll do six minus two times 180. And I'm gonna get four times 180 that's equal to 720. So I know that there's a total of 720 degrees inside this hexagon. But I need to divide it by seven equal angles. Excuse me, six equal angles. So 720 divided by six is equal to 120 degrees. So y is equal to 120. Here we go, let's do this one. We have a regular octagon. Octagons have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. So n is equal to eight, n minus two times 180, but I'll put eight minus two times 180. Six times 180 is equal to 1,000 and 80, and now, so I know that there's 1,080 degrees inside this regular octagon, but now I need to s divide it up into eight equal parts, because all of these angles are the same measure. So I do 1,080 divided by eight, and I get a measure of 35, 135 degrees.